Today, let's create a Laurel Charleston inspired makeup look. So I am one of the very few people who are lucky enough to say that I've actually been painted by Laurel. I was featured in this campaign for Ulta Beauty and Pop Sugar a couple years ago and they hired Laurel to paint me and it was such an honor. I was already such a fan of her work. And when I saw that Laurel and Mayron were hosting a competition to celebrate the release of her palette, I had to get in on it. I have been blown away by the makeup looks that Laurel has been doing with her celebrity clients, including Doja Cat. And and I love these two makeup looks. And I wanted to see if I could combine the two. So the first part was tackling this white to blue gradient face. It took me a minute to get the white face as white as I wanted it to be. I was using a sponge, I was using a brush. And what ended up being the best method was using more of a waxy cream white foundation and just using my fingers. A lot of times these products are super waxy so the heat of your fingers actually helps with working the product in. So now that we're happy with the base, now I am adding the blue and of course, of course, I could not achieve this beautiful pigment without the Mayron Cream Blend Stick in blue. And I'm using a big fluffy brush to melt that blue into the white, just building up a really soft gradient. And as you can see, I'm going back in with some white to both sharpen the lines of the blue and to just bring up that gradient even more. And now I am setting my face with a white powder. And now I'm gonna set the blue and the white with corresponding eyeshadows. With the blue, I added a couple different shades of blue because I wanted that to be a really, really strong, dynamic, dimensional blue. And then I ended up cutting the eye area a little bit more because I could see in the picture of Doja Cat that the eye was a little bit more angled and lifted. And now I am adding some black liner. And so that's pretty much the first step of this makeup look complete. And now we are moving on to this unbelievable continuous line that Laurel does across Doja Cat's face. I decided to turn it blue. And again, I kept a lot of this footage in because I find it so satisfying to see this line get created faster than it actually took. Because let me tell you, I took some time on this. It was mostly sketching this line really thin and then thickening it up as I go. So we start with under the eye and then it goes up into the forehead and down my nose. And I had to take a quick break to add this really beautiful bright red lip before continuing the line under my chin and all the way to the other side of the face. Let me tell you, it was so hard to add this line to the very side of my face because this precision line work, if you can't really get a good angle of it, it feels impossible. I can imagine Imagine it'd be a lot easier to do this on someone else. But we kept going. And we continue that line all the way into the hairline. And I thought I was in the clear, but I realized that there was one last little drop near the mouth that I added at the end. And then we pop on some lashes and we're pretty much done. I am so proud of this look. I had this hair that I thought would go perfect with the line. There's the squiggles in the hair, the squiggles on the face. Laurel is such an icon and I'm so glad that I can bring these two looks together to celebrate her as a makeup artist and her collaboration with Mayron. What is your favorite Laurel look? Comment below. Hi, it's me, Chase Runaway, and 